We're in Orleans, Indiana for the Dogwood Festival. This is a good example of how the Chamber of Commerce has set up a show. We have the food vendors surrounding three sides of the central square with carnival rides at the back. Craft vendors in the middle so that traffic flows through the square. Past the ubiquitous vendor tents which are typically on a 10, 12, or larger rented space. What are the incomes for these little booths? Well, there's a often used formula for that, and that is your booth rent should be paid on day one and 10 times your booth rent for the event is the minimum income you should expect to receive. The highest grossing sales are food, but you don't have to own a food truck. Jams, jellies, home-baked goods that you get a license for from your agricultural extension, food sells. The next highest grossing product is things that you make. You can triple your income, and if you teach people how to make things, your booth rent may be free. Other successful vendors we've seen combine things they make with pallet goods they get from the liquidation industry. A pallet of socks, a pallet of jewelry, a pallet of sporting goods. For instance, you can be in business overnight by buying a pallet of goods. For 13 years now, Connie and I have used the festival, fair, and show guides that each state produces to travel the country. We book a show and let it pay for our transportation and travel costs. I hope this has helped you by demystifying the whole process, and if you found an ev evocation, so much the better. God bless you. To all the long-term subscribers, thank you again for your support of Connie and myself through all these years and the movies that we've made and the friendships and associations we've been able to make through them. Thank you again.